want to find ways to overcome the mental fatigue that's so common today. Hey ladies, it's Anita. Welcome to episode nine of our Mom Talk. Today I want to talk about um, overcoming mental fatigue. So this is a real thing where we are caught up in just um, tons of decisions and constantly making decisions and constantly having information come at us. And so it actually causes this um, fatigue in us. It's not the same as being exhausted. It's not the same as being tired. It's um, it's not the same as um, I haven't been eating well or I need sleep or anything like that. It's a fatigue that comes from in our, it, come, it works its way out in our mind by having um, tons of information come at us all the time. It comes from overwhelm of decision. It comes from just kind of the way the world works today. So what do we do with that? Um, when we study scripture, it talks about how really hard work leads to prosperity. And when we're, um, and so we want to be able to honor that. But uh, what's happening sometimes in today's culture, especially for us as Christian working moms, like those three words that describe us, we have all these areas in our lives where we're trying to make decisions and manage and lead and care for and do all these different things. And so the question really is today is, is what do we do about that? And so I'm going to talk about three practical ways. You know me. I love to get really practical and give us ways that we can actually take steps forward in our lives and in our businesses to be able to win the day. And so just know as we're getting into this, I've been praying for each of you and just care about each of you so much and, and really care about your success and our success as women together. Okay, and so a couple of things that we want to talk about today. We're going to talk about slowing down. We're going to talk about one task at a time and turning off distractions. And you can say initially, all right, Anita, I know how to do all those things. I know that I'm supposed to do things, those things. But let's break that down a little bit deeper. So when we talk about slowing down, it's really slowing down to be able to focus. So instead of having a situation where I'm kind of like, going, 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 um, do, 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 like I gotta have, I gotta accomplish, you know, 20 goals today, or I have, I have 10 things I have to get done today. Um, and I have to manage my household and my children It's summertime. So I got their schedules to manage in a different way than we do during our homeschooling year. And you know, my blah, 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 blah. Like I can get so crazy. Just even right now, I feel like my blood pressure kicking up a little bit, thinking about all the things, but in that, what we can actually do is actually prescriptively. So hear what I'm saying here, ladies. This is intentionally slowing down. Now, slowing down looks a little bit differently for everybody based on the season of life you're in. So adapt this based on what you need. But slowing down for me looks like actually, when I think about it, it actually starts with my morning routine. So on the mornings where I can, I'm even doing it right now as I'm thinking about it. The mornings where I can like actually start the day taking a deep breath. As simple as that. And then instead of diving into looking at my phone, thinking about all the things I do, making notes about what I'm going to do, all that kind of stuff. For me, it works out, and I've shared this before, it works its way out like this. It's taking a deep breath, being really grateful that I'm alive today and I have stuff that I actually can get done. Um, I'm physically able, I'm mentally able, I'm spiritually capable, all those kinds of things. But then it starts with slowing down my day by doing some Bible study and exercise. Now that also looks like, for me, at this season, it, exercise looks like either yoga or walking. So it's very different than I did um, years ago when it was like weight training to be lean and running and all that kind of stuff, a little bit more high intensity. I can't do that right now. I have a neck injury that it just, my neck is tender all the time. And so the, that kind of activity that is even that faster pace, it's just, I can't do that this season. <clears throat> so what I notice is as I slow down, so I talked about a couple of disciplines in the morning, but that actually really sets the day for, it sets the tone for my day. And so that as I work through the day, it's not that I'm slow or lazy and getting and not getting stuff done. It's, it's really like a perspective, a mental attitude about how I'm going to approach the day and be able to actually what I find is as I slow down, 
that I'm actually able to have more of a peace about the day. And I'm actually, what I notice oftentimes, I'm, I'm able to accomplish more at the end of the day. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the next thing I want to talk about is one task at a time or batch your tasks and like one big overarching task. And this is not a new concept for us ladies at all, but it is incredibly effective, especially for those of us that have a lot going on. And I'm telling you, if you are a wife or a mother, whether you work out of the house or you do or your work is your kids and your household, those are jobs too. <laughs> Let's be clear on that. Um, the uh, batching the tasks and talking about uh, tackling one task at a time in a given area of your life is highly, highly, highly effective. And so um, it looks like this. Uh, prescriptively on my calendar, I even go so far as to map out to do one task at a time. So maybe I'm working on my coaching business. Maybe I'm working on coaching with clients. Maybe I'm working on project management um, clients. Maybe I'm, but I'm not commingling the activities between those. Maybe it even looks like um, I'm doing like laundry separately from doing something else. Maybe it looks like I'm carving out time to just pay the bills and work on our budget. Maybe it looks like time to even, even in my leisure time, like I'm carving out and batching working in my garden. It's something that I I love to do. It feeds my soul. It's good for my skin. It's good for just my my everything about me because I it's a task I love to do. It's relaxing, but I don't try to do multiple things at the same time. So I hear a lot of ladies these days will say like, um, and there's nothing wrong with this at all. I'll put a little disclaimer on it ahead of time. But I hear them say things like, well, I'm uh, while I run, I'm listening to a podcast or while I garden, I'm listening to, you know, I'm learning a task or while I'm driving, I'm learning a language and all those kind of things. So those things are amazing, but what I often find, and I'll really challenge you on this, is when you slow down and batch your tasks and do the kind of more of a one task at a time, I believe, and I will challenge you on this, that you'll actually get more done and you'll find more intention in the practice of whatever it is that you're practicing. Like I slow down and just, we had a game light night last night and we were just playing a game as a family instead of having the TV on and the and the extra stuff going on. We just were having fun and laughing. We didn't, we really carved out time to do that one activity. So I've given you, as I always do, I've given you lots of different ways to work that out and you do what works for you in these different concepts. So first of all, we talked about slowing down to focus. Secondly, we talked about one task at a time or batching your tasks. These again, not necessarily new concepts, but really coming back and revisiting the stuff that actually works. So those are the first two. The third is we're talking about turning off distractions. And man, is this a big topic today. I know that we are told and we think and that um, we believe that we as um, moms or working people or um, parents or spouses or all these labels that we put on ourselves. I know that we are told that we are multitaskers and how amazing that is, but I just really want to kind of refute that. I think the evidence points in the opposite direction. I think that actually when we turn off the distractions of life, um, then we're actually able to be more present and focus more on the task at hand and more intentional. And that actually gives us more peace inside as I go about and do the task that it's at hand. No, so I grew up in a household where I had a mom, bless her heart, she always wanted to have the TV on. Like from the time she woke up in the morning, the TV would go on. And then my stepdad, he was incredible, a little bit more like me personality wise, like we really wanted quiet in the morning so we could think. So we could think through the process of like the day and be able to get ourselves ready. So that's actually one of those things that I notice is that as I have more distraction, it actually stops me from thinking and contemplating and being creative and solving problems. So when I have music coming in or TV coming in or a podcast coming in or the phone ringing all the time or all the things that allow us actually as almost like an interruption, 
they um, it doesn't give our minds time to think and to process and don't we know like that's how God's made us he's made us to have these creative problem solving no limits like tapping into my my new age friends will say like we're tapping into our universal genius and all that kind of stuff that's just how God made our minds like there's an infinite possibility when we use our minds and actually allow our minds as we scoot out those distractions allow our minds to think and to process and to be peaceful and to have a break but also it's like um, passive thinking that's happening so don't we know when we're so focused on trying to solve a task focus 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 on solve a task like I lost my um my Google, my Pixel Buds recently. And as I'm trying to look around the house and find these darn things, uh, sometimes I find that um, sometimes the focused effort is is necessary, but also times what I found sometimes is when I have laid that task down and said, okay, Holy Spirit, help me find these Pixel Buds. I know you have before. You've helped me find lots of things before. I know you're gonna help me find these again. And I actually put that task kind of like on the back burner then I'll be going about my business doing something completely different, totally unrelated, not even worrying about that, kind of allow myself the, to get rid of the distraction even of focusedly, uh, uh, purposely trying to, to look for something. And even in that, what I found is my mind is freed up to be able to solve the problem and find the thing. And so... I just, I would challenge you, I'll bet you that the more you move out some of these distractions of the constant barrage of social media and screens and all these kinds of things, these aren't bad things, ladies, but they need to have their proper place and healthy boundaries in our lives. I, I totally believe that's what we practice in our household. So I'm curious, of the three things that we talked about in overcoming the fatigue and the mental gymnastics that our minds do, we talked about slowing down, we talked about um, having one task at a time or batching your tasks under one umbrella of a, of a topic and then turning off to the distractions. What's the most effective for you? Uh, that's one question I'll, I'll have to say that that's your homework work on that and then message me and comment and tell me what works for you the other thing is of those three which one do you do best which one do you really struggle with out of all of those three uh, the other thing that I would ask that you comment on and give me feedback on because I love to have this interaction of this dialogue with my audience and with you I care about you and I want to hear from you um, the other piece of that is um, which one, so which one do you like the best? Which one do you struggle with the most? But what else do you do? What else do you do to be able to overcome this mental fatigue that we, that is so common in our society today? And we could talk about all the different ways it works itself out in triggering um, depression and anxiety and just a lower sense of self-worth and a lower sense of satisfaction in life. And those are lots and lots of different topics for other podcast episodes. But for you, what do you use that works to be able to, um, really what we're talking about is it's also the question of like, how do we enjoy where we are and actually feel like we've accomplished stuff during the day? So again, a couple of other ideas for some future podcasts and we will talk about all those topics so ladies as I sign off today know that I love you and not in a weird way um, but I care about you I'm praying for you and I'd love to hear from you on how you're winning today both in your mind and your heart and your business and your marriage and your family and all those key areas so have a great day we'll talk to you soon